What's going on guys? Big VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. Real quick, we got another bar top. Custom artwork on this one going out. Cowabunga! Let's kick shell! Pizza power! What's going on guys? I know I've been out for a while. We got a lot of work getting done on the house. I was hoping that this would have been my first bar top in the new house, but we're still in the construction. A lot of videos coming up with Project Smart. But don't forget, I still do arcades, so don't be afraid to message me, hit me up, make your orders and all that. This one came in from Letgo. Um, message back and forth. It suddenly turns out that this bar top right now is going to actually a college friend of mine. Later on, we discovered that it's actually a friend of mine that I went to, I think, economics class at NYIT. His name is Jayden, Jayden Patel. So it was really cool to like figure it out because I got a text message and I'm like, NYIT. And all of a sudden I mentioned him and then all of a sudden we figured out that, hey, it's actually a, f a friend of mine from college. I don't have that many friends. I keep it low key. When I was in college, I had maybe like five friends and he's one of them. So he ordered a bar top, one of the custom artwork. He actually sent me a picture um, of a bar top, somebody else's bar top. I'll flash on the screen real quick. Um, again, I'm not here to talk bad about competitors. I don't work that way. He wanted it, if you look carefully at the picture, his bar top that he sent me the picture of had like the pinball buttons and everything. That was a PC kind of setup. We didn't really want to go that route. We wanted to at least bring it into like the beginner stage. You could always upgrade these to do PC. So he basically gave me a picture, white bar top, and basically we just made it, you know, almost the same. This one though, we did give him the custom graphics. I know they don't like to reprint prints that I did, but he really liked the whole like collaboration of the classic arcade stuff. Again, this is my personal Photoshop file from Game Room Solutions, meaning the template of the, the side stuff, but I physically put in 200 plus Photoshop characters on this, just like what we did for Antonio's arcade back then. So I know we don't like to duplicate them, but he really wanted it, so I didn't mind it. We changed the location. We changed the marquee naming, so we put, uh, he requested JBP. We also put it down here for JBP. Again, really awesome stuff. You got all your classic, you know, characters. Sonic, you got Bubble Bobble, a lot of stuff. Also on the control panel here, let me turn the mic. Basically, again, we do have a lot of different game combinations going on. You do have like Golden Axe, we do have Donkey Kong. Super Mario here, uh, that's Mario World 3, I believe, or Mario World 2. Again, kind of mixed it up as far as that. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick video on it. So check out the control panel on this. We do have basically, you could set up whatever system you're playing. It shows you what the arcade button layout is. A lot of people seem to like that. I do get a lot of messages in regard to people like wanting this file. I'm not gonna give it to you, I'm sorry. Nobody's gonna give it to you. You just have to sit down with Photoshop and make it. Uh, again though, white, the picture you see that he gave me was white. He didn't even realize that the picture he gave me had chrome team molding on it, so pretty cool. That's how like detailed we saw it. Again, his picture has pinball buttons here. We just don't have that on this. When he does do the, the, the computer build, yes, it will. Chrome is really good. Take a look real quick. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but this one right here, is perfect, beautiful chrome because the plastic um, protective layer is off, whereas this one, it's still on. I'm gonna usually do that at the customer's house because this is gonna go in the car and I really don't wanna bump this. So right now this does have protective film on it. This one does not. So you can see it, chrome is really cool. We do have the LED strip going on up here. Again, you do see the sensor. You do have speaker volume there. And again, really cool. You could basically set up the colors. We could set it to strobe if we want. I can't have a good grip on it. And again, same thing. We do have LED buttons on this one. Now, real quick to see it. The one request he wanted, if you see the picture, the RK buttons here are not LEDs. These are actually very good buttons. I really like these. Um, these are actually very firm. Like you really have to push that button to make it work. These, the, the dome tops are very like soft. Basically you could easily press it. Whereas the concave one, you have to actually forcibly, you have to actually forcibly like press it. You know, some people like it that way. Either way though, the concave one, your fingers definitely fit way nicer on it. Um, again though, LEDs here. So we do have the face buttons. 
they do have the wording save load and all that stickers inside the buttons obviously again 22 inch screen bar top really nice sanwa sticks on this he did request sanwa sticks we were able to get the white controls on this so again the one real quick thing i always like to show off a lot of the arcade i mean you've seen it all the time this one though again we do have four player on this so two arcade and two ps3 controllers on this so this does play four player really meant for n64 and the four player arcade uh one thing i do want to show off real quick is just in case some of these games and again depends on how the rom was made um a game for example like nba jam i'm going to turn on my playstation controllers wireless again they turn on they're going to boot on we're going to load up nba jam just to understand how the rom is Again, when it comes to like these arcades, some people don't really understand it. I don't really expect you to, but some things to keep in mind. So for example, I'm gonna load up NBA Jam. Okay, NBA Jam, what I'm trying to show you right here is that some people wanna play NBA Jam with just the arcade sticks. We are using the four player ROM on this. So the thing about NBA Jam, copyright laws, whatever, yes, yes, yes. Take a look real quick. I'm gonna insert the coins, right? So I'm player one here. Some people want to now do this controller as like this team, but this ROM is set up where basically player two is now on the same team. So for you to play three and four, you need to use the PlayStation controllers now. So basically it's team one on the decks, on the control panel, and then team two are the PlayStation controllers. So unfortunately, yes, you do have to do it that way there's no real way of like swapping that out or changing it it'd be really nauseating i did try to put player one and player three here it kind of screws and messes with the system so for a couple of games i think you're better off just leaving it honestly like that so again one and two three and four so again nba jam the example here i'm gonna actually press start to control hewing we gotta insert coins so now we have four players going on. So again, player four, player three is there. So again, one and two. See that? So one and two, these are basically the same team. If you did two player ROM on this, if you exit a track mode and go into emulation station, you will have the two player ROM. Now you could play it right, but now you're gonna, lo you're gonna lose the beauty of a track mode. Same thing here, we do have the two button exit. So shift exit and then you are out. So again, keep that in mind. Games like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, player one like only controls Donatello. Like you, if you, only him. If you wanna use like Leonardo, you have to use either player two, three, or four. Same thing with the Simpsons. Player one is Marge, player two is like Homer, Lisa, and Bart. So if you wanted to play Bart, you can't use player two. You have to use the right controller. So again, that is, if you look at a picture of like the old school, um, Simpsons arcade cabinet, there was four controllers and then really the coins were set to that specific player. So just keep that in mind. Again, 15,000 games on this. Another bar top is out. I wish I made this. I wish the house was done to make my own custom bar top, but this one, the customer really wants it. So we made the order game room solutions. Again, bar top. He hooked it up with the bezel. I didn't even give him the artwork for this. I guess he took this file and kind of stretched it and then cut it. Because if you look very carefully, let's just see if I can find an example. Uh, oh, he actually just kind of doubled it. Um, for example, you have like a Nintendo here, Sega here. I'm trying to find it here. It doesn't look to be that big on this, except, no, not that. I mean, again, Game Room Solutions, I did not order the bezel. I guess he hooked it up for us. So really nice, um, pretty close. 22 inch screen it's probably right underneath it a little bit but not too drastic again a track mode set on this 30 seconds it goes into a beautiful kind of display customer asks can i leave this on all night you can the pies are built like that you could definitely leave it on all night i usually suggest that you do power it down meaning you could just pull the plug some people are against that but it's up to you there you go vic vp game case arcades another bar top JBP's bar top right here.